Hey everyone, it's Megan and Cody. Say hi. Hi. She's recovering from surgery from the 27th. And it's kind of icky. It's only her second day, but we just got a call from the doctor saying all clear, no more growth. Yay! Such a good thing. So I'm happy she's home, not in the hospital. And we're playing with the kids. And your husband's kicking butt, trying to help as much as he can, rock star in it, in the house. And yeah, this was like totally unplanned surgery mm -hmm. and then unplanned infection. complications and infection which really has kept things down a little more so I've been here a lot so if you haven't seen me on social media that's why I've been here Have vacuuming vacuuming laundry dishes. dishes whatever whatever I can do helping out love and honor in a appropriate not weird way because we're laying here on a sofa <laughs> I said it again <laughs> whatever they know what I mean they know I love y'all and that's that's Rhett. Rhett's kind of sleepy. Rhett is the same age as Graydon. Yeah, they're three weeks apart, mm -hmm. basically. They're buddies, sort of. Graydon's not so sure about Rhett, to be honest. He kind of is jealous of Rhett. But we had a really funny mom moment because... So we got cheeseburgers today. It's kind of Cody's and my thing. Not that we eat cheeseburgers every day, but it was like a special treat. Right. Right. And so I went and picked up McDonald's, and Rhett was eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> and he dropped the burger, like, part of the burger on the floor. And Graydon doesn't walk yet, but Rhett runs all over the place. There's Rhett. Hey, Rhett. He's representing the surgeon's yeah. office. Yeah. You can't see his shirt. He's smiling, though. Um, <clears throat> he, uh... He dropped the cheeseburger, and Graydon was, like, laying there crying because I was paying attention to Rhett. And he went, like, mad, crawl, like, wounded army scoot, like, as fast as he could without tears for that cheeseburger. I was like, rah, 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 rah. like, yeah, that was pretty hysterical. We yeah. could have made a lot of money. <laughs> I wish we had it on tape, because it was really funny. It would have been funny to put on this video. It would have been great. Anyway. So, what's the point of this video today? Hope? Hope. Yeah. Perseverance. Mm -hmm. So, part of the reason why I do these daily check-in videos is because they're real life. We come at you guys and we may not have makeup on. We may be recovering from surgery. I may be recovering from not having a tooth. I've already had, I've shown videos without my tooth. Because even though um, Life Above Rubies is all about business and life and balance the way you want it, um, being a positive person, like Cody and I are both sapphire personality positive people, but real life still happens. Things still get us down. Sometimes things really crappy stink in life. There can be bad relationships. There can be, um, you know, a hard time financially or what else? What am I thinking? Like just life. Life. And so these videos are real life. So even though we're coming at you to say, like, we love you, there's hope. There is like, we're here to encourage you and pray for you and be there for you no matter what you're going through. But we're not going to pretend like our lives are perfectly perfect and we never have struggles or challenges or issues. And and we don't want to, like, inspire you so that you say we want to be like them or we want to be like, you know, Megan or we want to be like whoever. We want you to be the best you you can be. We want you to choose the joy and choose to... um Embrace the moments and the journey that you're on, no matter what pain comes your way. And it's not like to be cliche, like your struggle makes you stronger, but we're we're finding it does. <laughs> it does. And like we don't want to say it in a cliche, just because you're struggling doesn't mean you can't feel pain or feel hurt kind of way. But um, it may really be a blessing, you know. I mean, these past two weeks have been a blessing to me being here with you. And if she would have been up and at it and going, I might not have gotten to spend so much time with her in the past two weeks. So it's been a blessing for me to be here. And I think it's helped you. It's been huge. A little. Maybe. Megan has Megan has been here pretty much from sun up to sundown for our family. We have seven children, so it's um it's a task with her own children and uh, she's been here late after bedtime and um just serving in every way possible. Just um put aside all of her own things that she's had. She's been working from our home. She's been um, preparing meals, driving 45 minutes one way, um, 
picking up children, helping with homework, like just uh, amazing selfless um, acts on her part and, um, you know, just persevering through it all. And um, it's just a great testimony of how um, those times can be used we, when we put aside ourselves and our own things that we have going on, how we can really make an impact for others. Um, and I think it kind of puts things into perspective. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it really helps see that things could be worse or things, you know, and it's just, it's just been amazing for our family. Um, for me to have a friend by my side through it, um, you know, obviously my husband had to go back to work and we did not expect uh, the extra time and complications from the infection. So... Um, just a testimony of this is real life. This truly is who Megan Elizabeth is. This yeah. truly is. She's real <laughs> and she's there and she's um, striving every day to touch those around her closest to her and, and you guys. And she truly is praying for you and we are praying for you um, as a team and um, just keeping you guys um, always thinking of you and always just um, keeping you close to us. Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, no, my, Cody and I have been through, I think I said it before, but very similar situations in life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she has given me so much hope herself <laughs> in friendship. And she's been the one that was there. You guys saw our one check-in <gasps> video when she was doing my hair. <laughs> <clears throat> kind of entertaining. <Yeah. laughs> oh, stop. We both have that hair today. We have similar hair. Did you ever notice that until this video? Yeah. How much our hair is similar? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> so sexy. Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever um but entertaining company is how she put it companionship 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 yeah entertaining the thought of healthy companionship healthy healthy is the key word because she has given me the hope of what healthy can look like and I'm excited for that eventually in God's time because there's some more crazy stuff there. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> Here comes Peter Cottontail. <laughs> hopping down the buddy trail. Always on our team. It is funny. We can have a lot of fun together. We went to run a movie, He's Just Not That Into You, for my life, for today. <laughs> It didn't work out so well. I asked the lady for it at the video store, and she handed me a video, which I assumed was it, because that's what I asked her for, and it's The Help. So I guess we'll maybe watch The Help later. Am I The Help? <laughs> I think she's a slave. Oh. Well, no. <laughs> anyway, and Cody is the one who, by the way, I don't know if they all knew this or, or not, but, like, as much as she's saying, like, you know, I've been here for them. Mila wasn't as long. She had all three of my kids over Easter weekend when I was in the hospital with other TIA and brain issues. So she's, like, not, um, uh, she's owed. No. She's owed big time. Because our boys are funny. Anyway, thanks guys for watching today. Real life, checking in. We'll come at you with more from the couch. From the couch. From all, all over the place. Why not? <laughs> Enjoy the moments. We love you guys. Bye. I know you always give them to me at bed, and I'm like gagging. This <laughs> <laughs> was like so weird. But with it, Aiden probably told. Oh, stop it! No, it's just no. I'm not kidding. It's washer stank. No, okay, bro. wait, this is on. This is on. <laughs> My stomach hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay? No. Okay, you ready? I laugh at your pain. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Mm -hmm. Of April. She has a pretty bad headache today. She probably whisper. I'm such a good friend, like making her do a video with me under blankets on a sofa next to each other. <laughs> She's such a good friend, you're right, it doesn't smell very good. <laughs> I'm talking about the washcloth. She has a headache. <laughs> I'm not making fun of her. We've been loving on each other a lot. Does that sound inappropriate? <laughs>
to me we have these pillows. <laughs> this is an outshake. Drain. I hope you clean your hair and you do it. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Cut it out! Me, me, me! Do I look dead to you? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want? My neck looks fat. Jeez. I know. Mine is too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just lay back like this.